So let me get this straight. You want me to pay $10 for a teeny, tiny cup of lemonade? Gee, I'm sorry, ma'am, but these are the prices that the boss requires of us. Well, that's outrageous. Listen, ma'am, I'm sorry, but there's nothing we can do. We're just a small stand trying to survive on this crazy street. Well, you know what then? I'll go get my lemonade somewhere else. Somewhere where it's nice and cheap. Well, there goes that so. I wish boss would stop interfering. This inflation's gonna affect our third quarter returns. Yeah, if we don't sell enough cups, we'll have to let Marlin go. Wait a minute. Do you hear that? Customers, quick, make yourself look busy. I don't think these are the customers that we want to attract. No, kids, it didn't have to be this way. We offered weeks ago for you to sell the stand. Hello, hello, come in, we're under attack. You could have made some real dough, but you just didn't know when to quit. Come on, you stupid thing, why won't you work? <coughs> oh, Lord in heaven. All right, let's get on. undermines my authority. No! You monsters! To heck with you all! To heck I say! WSP for life. You see, I'm in a meeting here. Lemonade Stand 60 has been compromised, and we have reason to believe that the west side of the playground is responsible. Oh my gosh. These freaking hackers have been a pain in my backside for months now. What do we do, sir? Give me our school's directory. I'll find a way of handling this. Does this mean you're not gonna help me find my teddy? I've got bigger fish to fry, darling. And insiders just informed me that the head of the West Side's last name is Lane. Okay. If we can find their number, we can organize a meeting and settle this like men. There it is. Good work. 
time to handle this once and for all. Let's get them! They've messed with us for far too long. Give them a piece of your mind. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, all right. Hello, ma'am? Is this Miss Lane? Yes, it is. Who is this? A friend of your child's. I was wondering if we could maybe have a play date tomorrow afternoon. Oh, you're very sweet. That sounds wonderful. What's the address? It's 211 Oliver Street. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Alright, I think that we will. What was that? That's you handling them? Well, I mean, there's no point in being rude, but they could be tracking us, so we can't take any chances. What? My butt's not. This is it, boys. The time has finally come to vanquish our enemies. To smit them to heck and back and back again. Smith? Smite. Oh, okay. Poopy Pot, your little friend's here. Oh, and Dr. Franklin called about your nightly bedwetting, and he said... Mom! Sorry, Poopy Pot. Oh, the kids are here. Oh, come in, kids. Hello, boys. A girl? Ah! You can't see any more girls in here. Don't you know about cooties? Horrible thing, cooties. You stupid, stupid boy. Cooties aren't airborne. It's spread by touch. A girl? How can you be a girl? The phone book said Joe. Joe is short for Josephine, but people beneath me call me Joe. Joe Lane. Now, are you going to sit there and gawk like a fish, or can we be civilized children and get down to business? Boys, fetch us some chairs. Hors d'oeuvres? No thanks, I choose life. Oh. James, fetch us some Kool-Aid jammers. Oh, how rudimentary. On the rocks. Oh, you are so dense. On the rocks means on ice. Oh, you dumb, dumb baby. Don't know why you want ice when you already have a cold heart. Can we please get to business? Yes, yes. Louie, the truth is, I need the money. After a three-month addiction to illegal hopscotch betting and an unfortunate Red Grove-related arm injury, I got myself in some debt. It's tough. I owe money to some other kids. I fell on hard times. I lost myself in the bottom of a Yoo-Hoo bottle. I was on a sugar high that there is no coming down from. But I'm done wallowing. Now I'm back and better than ever. And I need, no, I demand your area of the playground. And if you don't give it to me, I'll have to take it by force. So show some circumspection and give up. 
Are you kidding me? You attacked us, come to my house, and then dare tell me to surrender my territory? Louie, we're the west side, and if you think you and your little playmates can take down a power such as us, then you're as naive as a baby in a perambulator. Perambulator. You can't push us around, we'll fight tooth and nail. Your fighting will barely break the epidermis of the west side. Epidermis? Why are you bringing people from the Bible into this? Goodbye, Louie. It'll cook gratuitous to watch my gang slowly decimate you and your confidants. Why won't you just speak English? Oh, and get some girls in your gang. It's looking like a Vienna sausage fest in here. But I'm a girl. <sighs> when the underdog doesn't know when to throw on the towel. Go eliminate the competition, boys. And Wiley, bring me Big Arnold. That little, with her big words. We don't know if she Googled them before she got here. She thinks she's so cool just because she's in the red reading group and her dad's a dentist. Well, my dad created the world's first ice football team. I like them apples. <clears throat> Sir? Not to criticize or anything, but I really think you lost your composure back there. Cookie? Boys, I'm sick and tired of playing on the defensive. She thinks she and her miserable gang can treat us like garbage and get away with it. Well, I'll be darned if I let that happen. Darned I say. It is time to unleash the full and bridled power of the East Side. East Side. try and make the colors match. I'm sick and tired of your taunting. Yeah? And what are you gonna do about it? This. <laughs> Careful, Louie. You could have shot somebody. But Jolene, he did shoot somebody. Lenny's dead. Eh, with his eating habits, death was nearer rather than farther. What? Shh. Okay, Louie, that's enough. Me and my gang have been fighting an intense mental game of chess in this war, while you and your friends throw check pieces on the board and yell bingo. All that does is stall the progress, and in all honesty, confuse us. <laughs> By the time you gave us a compliment. <laughs> Needlessly intense, and I brought something here to end it. Say hello to my little friend, Big Arnold. If the gun's name is Arnold, shouldn't you say Hasta la Vista, baby? Shut up! James! Emilio! Oh no! That kid. Jolene, we're killing a lot of people. This is going too far. Silence! <laughs> Bullets. That one's supposed to happen. Any last words, boy? <laughs> Saying over yet. I got one more ace up my sleeve. Oh yeah. And 
Dave, what's that? Jolaine, meet Louie. It's time to go see Dr. Franklin. But Mom, I was about to pull my ace out my sleeve. Can I pull it out? Can I? Can I? No, I'm not losing any more sheets to your bedwetting. <sighs> ha! This ain't over yet. I'll be back. B A G. Back. That spells bag, you moron. Join that grade reading group. Jolene, like, come home and clean that godforsaken room. Mom! Don't mind me, that room looks like if Kitchen Nightmares and Hoarders had a crossover episode. Don't make me come out there. Ugh, fine. We'll continue this tomorrow. To be continued. Can we get up now? We've been here for two days. is gone.